Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe Gang Gang. Thank you all as well for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you. I thank you so much, Evolving Spirits. If you would love to join the Soul Tribe, Aquarius, definitely don't forget to click that join link down below. It definitely provides you discounts on your personal readings. We have our own private community where I also do post daily content over there as well, all right? Shout out to the sexy-ass Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. I feel like it's been a minute, even though it's only been two days, right? So welcome back, my loves. All right, let's dive in. First, we're going to use the Moonology cards here and see uh, what your higher self has here for you, what your guardian angels and ancestors want to inform you at this time, Aquarius. Delphi, stick around. We're going to use the traditional tarot deck here to tap into you and your person, all right, and see how they feel towards you, all right, and see what the potential outcome is, right? So let's see here. Guardian angels, ancestors, please protect my space and aura as I channel the messages here from my higher self. What do I have here, Guardian angels, for Aquarius placements? What do we have for the Aquas? We have for Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what we have here for you. We have three cards here. We have the first card is balance, spirituality, and practicality here, okay? Full moon in Pisces, okay? All right, so this is definitely getting that understanding of, you know, yourself spiritually here, your higher self, and then your lower self that part of you that's physical, practical here, okay? The part that you utilize to manifest, to take the action in, in the physical realm here, okay? You balancing your spirituality here, I feel, Aquarius, and your physical part of you, or meaning like, you know, the things that you can touch tangible. So basically, balancing your spiritual realm, the spiritual realm that you're in, okay, your higher self and your lower self, all right, the physical realm here, all right, your lower self of you, your desires, your root chakra, right, okay, and then we have take time to breathe out, Aquarius, okay, some of y'all are needing to work on your breathing, all right, you needed to do breathing exercises or do breathing in regards to helping you release the more you take deep breaths, Aquarius, and you hold them in for four, okay, seconds, and then you breathe out for four, that helps you relieve a lot daily, okay? The more you do it, the more you're releasing, the more you're balancing yourself, not even on a spiritual level, but also on a physical level as far as your health-wise as well. So it works for breathing exercises or just doing that daily helps with a lot all the way around and of course it helps balance you out so i feel like some of you all here Aquarius, may feel like you were off track at one point in time all right or you some of y'all may be feeling that way now that you feel you know and this is the reason why you may have felt off or fell off balance or you know maybe find yourself not eating or eating or doing more than what you usually do, or spending more than what you normally spend, or not having more to spend than what you normally do, okay? It's like something there is off balance with you, and this could be because something that's going on, okay? You can have a lot going on, Aquarius, or in regards to a particular situation or circumstance here, okay? Last nice card here says, hold your vision here, Aquarius. So yeah, whatever this is, that is literally halfway done, halfway processing here, halfway there okay Aquarius your guardian angels and your ancestors okay are saying hold your vision don't give up on this don't give up on whatever this is that you've manifested don't give up on this thought don't give up on always wanting to do this okay don't give up just keep going all right Wow, Aquarius, that are messages in regards to your higher self and your guardian angels and ancestors. Beautiful messages there. 
All right, definitely if that resonated for you, Aquarius, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up, show spirit some love. Again, if you're new here, welcome, subscribe, my loves, and definitely be a part of family. All right, yes, this is definitely where we love and we evolve, all right? So let's now shift the energies here, Aquarius. We're going to see what's going on with you and your person or whoever you are connecting with at this time, whoever's thinking of you. We're going to pull their energy and see how they feel here towards you, see what the connection here is all about. All right, and then we'll finish up here with the Hidden Truth Oracle deck to see how they feel or what the truth intentions is that this person here has for you, okay? All right, Aquarius, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, show me Aquarius person's energy here. Show me the energy here that Aquarius here is engaging here with at this time. All right, we have the full card here, Aries energy here. The top row is going to be your person's energy here. And the bottom row here, Aquarius, is going to be your energy here. Okay. So, again, some of y'all, this person could be a fire sign here in Aries. Okay. Particularly here. Then we have water energy here, Count Syrian, Pisces, and Scorpio energy here. All right. We have Gemini energy out here. And we also have Earth energy out here. Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, okay? Mm. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? All right, some of you all are definitely in regards to financially wise. You're, you know, you may feel like your finances may have been off, right? As we mentioned earlier, and now you are saving, okay? Now you're more well-grounded, okay? All right, for some of you all here as well. All right, that's what I was picking up earlier here. All right, so the food card here, your person definitely wants to take this leap of faith or take this opportunity here with you. They do want to start over here, okay? Some of y'all, this is someone from your past here. They literally want to start at the number zero, all right? This person sees that you were hurt here with the five of cups here, okay? That you may have been disappointed here in this person, okay? Or you may have had regrets here for this person or this relationship here. And I feel like that this person here was hurt as well, okay? I feel like this person has been through a situation here as well, okay? And sometimes we always hear that saying, hurt people hurt people, right? Or hurt people hurt other people, right? We have the Queen of Cups here, okay? Scorpio energy here, particularly here, or this could be a Pisces or a Count Syrian here, Aquarius, okay? This could be... Here, the mother or the father of your child here for some of you all. This is someone that you love. There was definitely feelings here between the both of you because we got cups here on both sides of the rim here, both sides of you all's energy here. Your person up here at the top, we got the queen of cups. And then for your energy, Aquarius, we got the knight of cups. So there was definitely some love here between you two. You definitely love this person and this person had love for you too. Now we have the Gemini here energy or the lovers here in reverse for your energy here, Aquarius, okay? So I feel like you may or are not now seeing or feeling like that this person is the one that was for you, okay? Even though, you know, you had love for this person and you still do, okay? But you are now either deciding not to choose this person as someone to take a leap of faith with here or move forward here with, okay? Let's see, or vice versa, this person is deciding to do that. Let's clarify here. Wow, Aquarius, definitely if it's resonating for you in your current situation, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box. All right, Aquarians, I love you. So let's clarify, Aquarius. Clarify the lovers here in reverse. Why is the lovers here in reverse? To my higher self, why is the lovers here in reverse? We have the Ace of Swords here because you've gotten some clarity here yourself, Aquarius. You got some information here about this particular person here, okay? And what they have done here, all right? Or if this is someone who broke your heart here or who the one who disappointed you, 
disappointing you here where you have regrets in regards to this particular relationship, okay? Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups here, okay? This person definitely wants to come in and apologize here, okay? They want to take that leap of faith because they still do have feelings for you, okay? But I feel like whatever information or whatever you gotten about this person, whatever this person told you, I feel like there is a situation here where you don't see yourselves being involved here no longer for some of you all here, okay? Clarify the Ace of Swords. I want to see what this is here exactly. Give me more details here, please. Damn. Yeah, you went within and you got in the truth about this particular situation here. You had to, you know, stop yourself in your tracks here in regards to this person here, okay? You have went through the dark night of the soul. you have going through this process here of some of you all currently, okay? And you're realizing some things here. Mm-hmm. That's you being balanced now. You're being able to go within through that spiritual realm and come back out in the physical realm. And now you have to check some things here and have to see what's going on here. This is what I manifested for myself in the 3D realm. No, I don't think so. I got to move forward. Yeah, this is what I was picking up here. Okay, so even though there is definitely a connection here as far as, you know, love here between you two. But it's love where, you know, you still, you know, had, you still be able to care for this person, look out for this person, you know, if something wants to go down. But as far as like being in a relationship here, I feel like for some of you all now that this Hermie energy done came across, some of you all, this person could be a Virgo here. All right. But you went on ahead and did what you needed to do as an individual here and went within. Okay. And stop projecting things on these particular you know people family or even your significant other and you had to point the finger at yourself as well Aquarius, and be like okay something got to give i can't keep going through these type of situations or circumstances with people either right so like i said after you doing that you're not going to want to involve yourself again with this particular person right you now understand you're going to continue to focus on you and that bag, honey, and those coins, all right? And just balance on now being stable, right? Now being practical, now being logical as well. Mm -hmm. How does person feel as we close out this spread? Wow, queers, this has been a beautiful spread. Definitely, again, if this has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell, my loves. My goodness, Aquarians. Let's see what this person wants to say right now as we close out your reading here today. What do we have? What does this person think you? We have, I am afraid to contact you. Well, I would imagine so, okay? I fuck around and be afraid to contact myself as well, okay? You know, definitely with the conversation we just had, right? Pretty deep, Aquarius. Pretty deep, all right? Definitely, if this resonates for you, I am available again for personal readings. I would love to dive a little deeper in this particular situation here, okay? We have, I hope that you can forgive me one day, Aquarius, okay? So this person here hopes that, you know, that one day you can forgive this person, all right? I respect this person for even, you know, asking you of that, okay? Because they know deep down inside what they've done hurt you, all right? This is what that King of Cups here, or AKA that Knight of Cups here is for. This person is going to be coming in here towards you to ask for your apology here, okay? And they hope that you can forgive them one day due to the things that they have done towards you here in the past, my loves. Wow, Aquarius, beautiful spread here. Again, definitely if the reading here today has resonated for your spirit and your higher selves, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It definitely has been a pleasure here. Shout out to everyone that has been joined and utilizing the color black this week. All right, definitely keep up with the community if you're new here. So that way, each week we change and switch up a new color to enhance and 
allow us to evolve spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, right? And thank you all again for your continuous love and support. If you would love to join me when I go live for love questions, you can email me your question, all right, screenshot your payment, and definitely I'll provide you a number. So as you all come in on the love live stream, I will read out and say your number. And I will also pass a timestamp after following the reading if you're not able to get to your question that you asked me through email. All right, but that's also just there in place for your safety and to you to be able to remain anonymous as I answer your question through the love live stream. All right, but Duffy again, thank you. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for all your continuous love and support. I appreciate you all. All right, it has definitely been a pleasure here. All right, and you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.